Hey guys, it's Miss Josette, and I am here for Kids Club today, and I'm just here to share with you some very special messages, and I'm here to talk about our special day that is happening tomorrow, and I want to share with you about the very, the very special men in our lives. Now, those men are sometimes called fathers, and tomorrow is Father's Day. And so I started thinking about what is a father and what does it mean to be a father? So I looked it up, and in the dictionary, there are many meanings to the word father. So here's just a few of them. A father can be a man who has a child. So you might call that person a dad, and that might be your real dad. Or a father can be someone who begins something. A father could be an older man. A father could be the leader of a city, you know, like um, sometimes called a founding father. So there's lots of definitions to a father. You know, a father could be your real dad, or sometimes we call that a biological father. But sometimes somebody's father could be a stepdad. Somebody's father could be a man who treats them as though they were a dad. Sometimes a father could be a preacher or a teacher, someone who teaches us important things and life lessons. Many, Maybe you're a kid who has a great, wonderful dad or a grown-up who has a great, wonderful dad who has done special things with you. Maybe you have memories and have wonderful things that you've learned from your dad, great things like maybe you've gone camping or you've done special trips. Maybe you play so soccer with your dad or you go swimming or you play football or maybe they go shopping at the dollar store with you or take you for ice cream or coffee or maybe they taught you how to play a musical instrument. I did movie dates with my dad. Or maybe your dad has taught you how to fix something or ride your bike. Maybe your dad or your father has taught you how to read the Bible or Bible stories to teach you about God. Of all the things that your dad or your father or the, man, the men in your life, of all the things that they can teach you, the things about the Bible are the most important things. But you know, as I was thinking about dads and fathers, it made me think about the fact that sometimes there are some of us that have a dad that they don't ever see. Maybe some of us have a dad that has passed away. Maybe some of us have a dad that's not around for some reason or another. You know, some of us have dads that for some reason, just aren't in the picture, or maybe they just don't get to see them very often. And maybe sometimes you have a stepdad or a grandpa or an uncle or really good friend that seems a lot like a dad to you. And it's okay, like the dictionary said, it's okay for a father to not be your real dad. A father can be someone who is an older man or just a man who is teaching you things and helping you learn important things. And did you know in the Bible, there are some examples of men who taught people important things who were not people's father. And I'm actually thinking about one of those right now. And it's a man who we have been studying already in Kids Club. We've talked about him before and we're going to be talking about him again in Bible school. And that man's name is Paul. And Paul was a father figure to a young man by the name of Timothy. Now, the Bible doesn't tell us a lot about Timothy's real dad. As a matter of fact, the Bible only tells us about Timothy's mom, Eunice, and his grandmother, Lois. In Timothy, in 1 Timothy um, chapter 1, verses 4 to 6, the Bible tells us that L Timothy's grandmother was the first one in his family who loved God, and that his mother loved God, and Timothy loved God. And we don't know where Timothy's dad was, but what we do know is that Paul was writing letters to Timothy, and Paul taught Timothy about God. Paul was like a father to Timothy. Paul even told Timothy what to do when he had a stomach ache. Paul told Timothy not to pay attention to people who told him that he was too young to do anything for God. Do you know that? Do you know that Timothy 
has two books in the Bible named after him. First and second Timothy. Two books. And do you know that there were people that were telling him that he was too young to do things for God? And Paul said, Timothy, don't ever let anyone look down on you because you're young. So Paul was a father figure helping Timothy to grow in his life with Christ. And then there's another story in the Bible about a leader in a city that was just like a father. And in that story, Samuel was a young boy when his mother took him to the temple. And the temple is like a church. And he was being taught by the preacher there, who the priest, whose name was Eli. And Eli taught Samuel how to listen to God. In the story about Samuel, Samuel was sleeping and he kept hearing his name being called and he'd go into Eli because he thought Eli was calling him. And this happened several times until Samuel learned that it was actually God calling him. You see, Samuel grew from a young boy into a very great man of God because through Eli's teaching and Eli being a father figure to him, he learned how to listen to God. We should be very thankful for the men in our lives that have helped us and teach us, especially if we have dads or men that are teaching us about God. And it's very important that we have people that teach us how to be good boys and girls, men and women, and how, what we are to do. And we are to use this day to thank those folks. But if you have a dad or men in your life that do those things or not, if you don't have someone like that, I have some news for you. Maybe you are someone who is saying, Miss Josette, you know what? I have a strong mom or a strong aunt or strong grandma. I don't have a dad. I don't know what you're talking about, Miss Josette, because I don't have a dad. I don't have a grandpa. I don't have an uncle. So I guess I'm kind of left out today. I've got news for you. You do have a dad. You have an amazing father. And I've also got news for you. We have the same father. Because you see, God is our heavenly father, father with a huge, giant capital F. And God is our father who will never mess up. He will never leave us and he will never make a mistake. And he has promised to always be with us, no matter where we are, no matter what we do. He has said in the Bible, in the book of Psalms, Psalm 68, verse 5, he made the promise that he would be the father to those who have no father. It says in Psalm 68, 5, that he is the father to the fatherless, a defender of widows, and God is in his holy dwelling. Those are some amazing words, aren't they? God is the father to the fatherless. So if you have feel like you, if you don't have a dad, or if you feel like maybe you just don't have a strong male figure in your life, you need to know that we have the strongest male figure that we could ever have in God the Father. And he has given us some folks here on earth, and we are pretty darn lucky with the folks we have here on earth. Pretty darn amazing people that he has blessed us with sometimes. And unfortunately, there are some folks that leave, leave a little bit to be desired. And God wants us to help them as well and pray for them. But God is there for those of us who don't have someone, for those who do and those who don't. He is there for us all. God, there is a word that people in the Bible used to pray. And it means kind of like it's a very personal way of talking to God. So I like to use when I am talking to my dad, I like to use the word daddy. I have always been a daddy's girl. I am somebody who likes to say daddy, I need you, daddy, daddy, daddy. And in the Bible, this very personal way that people would use to pray to God, they would say Abba, Father. 
And Abba Father basically means Daddy God. Because God is saying, Abba Father, Daddy God, God is our perfect Father. They would pray to him and they would trust him so completely because he is our father and he wants us to be close to him. He wants you to be a daddy's girl or a daddy's boy. He wants you to be close to him. He wants you to talk to him just like you would the dads and moms and grandpas and uncles and teachers and preachers here on earth. He wants you to talk to him as a good friend. And when we talk to him, we can talk to him saying, Abba, Father. We can talk to him saying, Daddy, God. We can talk to him saying, Heavenly Father. We can talk to him saying, Holy Father. We can talk to him just saying, Dear Lord, whatever we want to do when we pray, we're just talking to God just like we do anyone else. And he loves that so much. He wants us to talk to him. So on this Father's Day, as we celebrate Father's Day, I want you to thank God for the people that he has put in your life that can be like a father to you. And most importantly, I want us to thank our Heavenly Father for the things that he has done for us and given to us. So why don't we do that right now in closing? And I thank you all so much for being here today. Dear Heavenly Father, Abba Father, Thank you so much for this opportunity to remember the fathers that you have put in our life, the grandfathers, the uncles, the teachers, the preachers, father, those that have children, father, those that don't have children, father, those who don't have children and, but love children and want to teach them father for the Pauls, for the Eli's who have been leaders and teachers of children. Father, we thank you for those individuals. Father, we thank you for Pastor Tim as a father figure and leader of our church. And Father, we thank you for, for you and the gifts that you gave us with your son. And Father, we just ask that you would help the men in our lives, the grandpas, uncles, brothers, dads, to just be strong men and leaders for you. And Father, we just ask that you would continue to guide us and protect us. In the name of your son, we pray. Amen. Until we meet again, guys. Thanks. Bye.